Hi my beauties, welcome back into my channel and welcome to another video. Oh <laughs> Today's video, we're gonna be doing a review video. I'm gonna be reviewing the other oil from Milani. I already reviewed this product. If you have not checked it out, the link is gonna be in the description box below. But I'm gonna be reviewing the pink one now, so we're just gonna get started. Let me moisturize my lips first because I don't want my lips to look dry. Okay, so now that my lips are moisturized, I'm gonna start with I already moisturized my face for my face moisturizer I use the it cosmetic confidence in cream moisturizer today Like I say, I'm gonna be reviewing the Milani rose prep and brighten oil this is How the packaging looks like this one has one flowing ounce 30 millimeter so they have the same amount of product i like the word dewy glow and hydration it goes amazing with me it goes amazing for dry skin because you want to have that glowy dewy shine and this one cost me 11.97 at walmart it's more cheaper than this one but this one cost 14.97 has a nice smell So when you blend it, it blends so smoothly and so nicely. My face looks dewy, glowy. It looks the best. On with the wind, fabulous. It really gives you a dewy look and it really feels hydrating. I'm gonna start with my makeup now. So I'm gonna start off with my eyes makeup before I start with my foundation and all of that. For today's palette, I'm gonna take again the BH Cosmetic Glam Reflection and this one is the Guilty. Let's begin with this makeup look. I'm gonna go with these lashes. This has been like my favorite lashes because they are not really super long, but they are thick. If I can find them, I will put the link in the description box below. Okay, now let's get started with the face now. I'm gonna go back again and prime my under my eyes using the Cetta B Eye Repair Cream. That is this one right here. I'm 
gonna leave it like that for a few seconds 12 seconds later I really like the face oil so far so I'm gonna conceal under my eyes and I'm gonna take the color D Now I'm gonna apply the foundation. For today's foundation, I'm gonna be using the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation SPF 15. And this one that I'm using is the shade Golden. And I'm just gonna blend it with the same brush that I blend the concealer. That is the Sigma Brown Kabuki F82 brush. Now I'm gonna be taking the medium deep concealer just to highlight underneath my eyes where I normally apply the concealer. I'm to blend the concealer, I'm taking it with the Japanese Skin 718 brush. And I'm just gonna contour using this uh, Becca concealer in the shade Deep Caramel. And I'm gonna be using this Kat Von D, the number two brush. For the blush, I'm going with the Knit Sweet Chic Blush Palette. I'm gonna take this color right here. This one right here. So I'm gonna bake just a little bit. I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm gonna blend it with the Sigma Duo Fiber Powder Blush F15. And then I'm just gonna set this concealer as well. Okay, now I'm gonna go with the highlighter, but for today I'm gonna use a liquid highlighter. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Liquid Glow in Rose Gold. So I'm gonna take this amount and I'm gonna apply it first on the back of my hand. So for the highlighter brush, I'm going with the Sigma High Chic Highlighter. I'm 
if this highlighter pop a lot more I'm gonna go with this face oil and just apply a little bit like a dime side on top of it apply the highlighter on top of the oil to set this contour and to contour more my nose I'm gonna take this palette from Anastasia this is the Anastasia contour kit in time to deep and I will be using another Sigma brush that is the F40 and this is a large angle contour brush and I'm gonna take this color on the middle on the top And I'm gonna take this color to contour my nose. So now let's move on with the lips. So I'm gonna first line my lips using the matte cord lip liner. For the liquid lipstick, I'm going with the Anastasia liquid lipstick in hashtag. And then I'm just gonna set all of this makeup using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Cock and Burr 3 in 1 Prep, Set, and Refresh. So this is a completed look. Now I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts about this face oil. I love how glowy my skin look as you guys saw in the beginning. Look really glowy and dewy and really hydrated. It blends out so smoothly. It feels so soft. It feels a little bit tacky. The packaging is beautiful as well. I love the packaging but it's not about the packaging. It's about the product. So if I had to choose between one of these two oils, I would pick this one. But they kind of do the same thing just that this one you can not apply it on your hair and this one you can apply it on your hair thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys found it helpful and you guys enjoy it and if you did don't forget to give this video a like if you like and as well subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet so you guys can be part of this squad family don't forget to turn on that post notification that way you guys can get notified when i will be posting a new video all you have to do is click the bell click on select all and that will notify you every time i post a new video and until my next one i will see you guys in my next video